Happy to have John Snyder with us this week for our NLL Spotlight. Anthony Wayne, Athletic Director. When people think of Anthony Wayne in this community, I think they think of a couple things. They think of community and they think of winning. How have you guys managed to form that identity over the years? You know, it's, it's interesting to say that because there's so many uh, different ingredients needed for success. And one of those main ingredients is, is a solid youth uh, foundation. Our, our Anthony Wayne Youth Foundation is just incredible in making sure so many of our kids are participating from the age of four, five, six on. Um, it's just so great seeing these kids. They look at these high school kids and these high school coaches as legends, um, as heroes. Um, and so we try to establish that base of having a youth program when they get to us. They're already there. They're already ready. They're already excited to wear that blue and white. I love that with those summer camps. I remember going out there last summer and seeing Ryan Donnelly and the baseball guys working with some of those kids and a lot of those kids were in those summer programs Absolutely. themselves. When we have our high school kids work with these younger kids they without question love doing it. They remember doing it. They, they remember being those kids uh, so excited in those youth camps and now they get the chance now to pay it forward teach the next generation of generals and those kids are just so excited to be with us one day. I think one of the goals that all athletes have is if they can play this game at the next level and you all have done a great job really with all of your programs and doing that. You know our signing days are huge and we love doing it and we love celebrating our kids I mean, that's one of the things that Anthony Wayne we just we just absolutely love celebrating our kids you know when we have our kids make it to the next level there's so much we're just blessed to have these kids come back um, we know that they are college and career ready uh, they come back and they're in they're in the trades they're in med school they're in law school and they're still just as passionate about that baseball team they played for that lacrosse team they played for they want to stay on the sidelines they want to coach we have so many people who coach for us now that graduated two three four years ago um, but in terms of getting to that next level we just are constantly on them about their long-term and short-term goals uh, to have them one day get to where they want to be recognize a goal and we're gonna help you get there so the word that comes to mind when I hear you talk about this is participation and that's something that you all are big into without question I mean our participation numbers are through the roof um, the problems we have in participation are good problems to have. I talk to a lot of ADs, um, and they wish they could have the problems we have, or we have just, frankly, too many kids. Um, when you have 26 varsity programs, over 700 athletes in the high school alone, 49% of them being female. I mean, we are so proud of those numbers. Um, those numbers are just through the roof, and I know for a fact a lot of schools, they have this goal to get there. Um, we're already there. Have you noticed those numbers snowball in the last few years? Without question. Um, I mean, we have been extremely successful, specifically in the last seven to eight years. Um, and again, everything in sports is a roller coaster. Um, so I tell people all the time, you know, at some point we're going to have to go down. But right now we are going up and we are enjoying this ride for as long as it lasts. Your coaching staffs are pretty consistent, though. What does that do for you? Pardon the pun, but th th this athletic department is only as good as the team we bring around us. But we have longevity. Our coaches stick around, and that's awesome when you see coaches like Lori Williams, Jamie Carter, Josh Arthur, I mean, the Brian Billings. Those coaches have been there for a long time, and knock on wood, they're not going anywhere. Except maybe the playoffs, which is coming up here pretty soon. Are you right. ready for that? It's a busy time of year to be an AD. It, it, it is certainly, you know, but when you look at your tennis program and Anthony Wayne, baseball, softball, lacrosse, Cross, certainly track. Spring is our busiest season, and, it, and it's one that we just know the school year might end, but we're not done. Uh, we go far into June, um, and we love every minute of it. The Anthony Wayne teams for this spring, not done either. Happy to have you with us. John Snyder for our NLL Thank you so Spotlight. much. Appreciate it.